Hi. So in this video, I'll uh, walk you through how to use Android setup utilities, uh, which can be used on any of your Android phone. So here uh, in this video, I'll uh, use EC30 device. Uh, so you can use any of the device. All you have to use is uh, an OTG connector. So which can connect to your mobile and the other end can connect it to a normal uh, USB cable. Which, which, is, uh, which is a mini USB or a normal USB that you can, depends on which uh, printer you are going to connect. So uh, in this training video, I will use a mobile printer ZQ520 uh, to configure. Okay. So I will show you um, how to set up the mobile printer so that you can change the media type from Mark, which is the factory default settings to gap medias. Okay. So typically uh, people do um, ask how to set it up. So I'll I will just show you how to do all these things very easily, and also we can I'll I'll show you uh, how to set the wireless network also on the mobile printer. Okay, so let's start. So here we are on the desktop. Uh, so what I have here is uh, my uh, mobile device casted onto the desktop screen. So you can see what I am doing on the device. Okay, and all you need is uh, this OTG connector. So I have connected the OTG to my device. And the, my mobile uh, for, uh, mobile printer, which is the ZQ520, which you can see here. So that is connected via an USB cable. Okay, so that's a mini USB cable that you have to use. It's a normal USB cable. So once I connect it, it is asking uh, me to use the printer setup utility. So you can download and uh, install this uh, printer setup utility from Play Store, or it is also available from our SDK. Okay, so I just click OK. So it is opening up the Cipra setup utility. So the good thing about uh, the Android utility is um, it is the two-way communication. As you can see that it will try to retrieve the settings from the printer and display it to you. So it is not like our Windows setup utility where it is uh, just a push. You just configure whatever you want and then send it to the printer. You don't have the freedom of seeing what the printer is having currently. So that's the beauty of uh, using Android setup utility. Okay. So here it is displaying the printer's name as ZQ, and uh, it's currently ready status. So whatever the printer status is as of now will be displayed on the device. Okay. So as you can see, the printer right now is not connected onto the Wi-Fi, so it's only showing a, a stick icon. So once we configure the Wi-Fi, you can see the signal strength coming up there on the LCD. Okay. So now we go to connectivity to configure the connection part. So I click wireless. So it is retrieving the wireless setting and it will show me what is currently the printer is having. Okay. So right now the host name is set up as ZQ. I want to change that as uh, 520. So let's put ZQ 520. And uh, the IP protocol I want it is in a DHCP. So I click DHCP. And uh, it's all that's it. The power save mode. But let it be on so that it it will it will save power uh, if it is on uh, uh, idle mode for a few a few minutes. Okay. So I click next. So here it is asking for client ID. So you can leave it as it is. No need to change anything on the client ID. Just click next. So now this is the SSID parameter. So here you have to put the uh, right SSID value. So my network is. Uh, 24 D link, so I put that one. And uh, what is the security you are going to have? So, my security mode is WPA PSK. So, these are the rest of the security parameters that you can configure on. So, these are again depending on uh, what your AP is configured with and what is your wireless setting you have to put as exactly over here. So, wireless band uh, you can leave it as it is, channel list also you can leave it as it is. So now click next. So my PSK password it is asking. So what is my WPSK password? I have to put it exactly over here. So don't make any mistake over here. So make sure the uh, whatever uh, the password the pass key you are typing here is there is no typo error here. Okay. So click next. And the last one is apply settings to the printer. Okay, so now you are saying apply, and it's going to the printer now. 
so you can see the printer will restart and then the wi-fi settings will come back and you can uh, see that that wi-fi stick will um, will have a signal strength on it so earlier it was just one was showing as a one as a symbol so later on you can see after restart with a full wi-fi signal strength so let it restart So now the printer has restarted. So I say OK it's because it is asking the USB is connected. So I say OK. Now so it is re-establishing connection with the printer. And you can see uh, the signal strength on the, um, the Wi-Fi icon has come back. So it is now connected to my Wi-Fi. Okay. So this is how you can configure the Wi-Fi. So it's easy to do it. So if you want to see what is now having, just go again. It will, it will retrieve the Wi-Fi settings on the printer and display it for you. So you see, whatever we did, now it has taken effect. So I just click Next. And again, this is the client ID. So I just click Next again. So you can see the parameters that we're given. Of course, you cannot see the WPA PSK key, which was for a security reason. So no one can see what is the current uh, password it is set on. I just say cancel and uh, uh, we come back to our media settings parameter. So that is the section, uh, second option that we are going to see now. How to set the uh, media parameters on the printer. Because as I told earlier, uh, the printer by default, factory default comes with, uh, comes to work with a uh, mark media. Okay. So here is what the settings is, the second uh, option after the connectivity part, so media settings. So click that, it will show you, it is retrieving the current settings and is, it is showing here. So finish retrieving settings. So right now it is set for label. Okay, so we don't know what label, whether it's a mark label or a gap label, right? The size is like a four inch by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so below is you have this media setting. So you can click media settings. So now it is again retrieving the settings. For each page, it has to retrieve the settings and show you. So now the uh, orientation and the label type is label or tag receipt. So two options is there. So if you are going to use a continuous media, you can put it on receipt. The label or tag, if you want to change the size, I based on the label size you have, you can put that. So as of now, I have a four inch by four inch uh, uh, media. So I can put a four by four here. Tick. So next. So what type of media? Obviously it is a direct thermal media only. Okay, so you don't have any other option on the printer. So this printer does not accept a thermal transfer. So here is where you change the media type. Okay, so the media type here, click that. So change it to again, continuous, gap or black mark. So if it is in black mark, obviously by default it will be like that. So change it back to gap, okay and say next so media handling is obviously tear off uh, if you are having uh, the high-end printer like a zq 630 or a, a qln series printers you can put it in peel off mode okay so this printer supports tear off mode for my printer so click next and just apply and it just applies to the printer and your printer is now set for printing on gap medium okay so the printer you can see has calibrated and it is stopping exactly at the gap Okay, so this is how you can do uh, the settings change on the mobile printers. So it's so made e so easily with the Android setup utilities. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.